Just visit the new calgaryherald.com with more of everything worth knowing. Over $700 billion are leaving this country to foreign nations every year. That's four times the cost of the Iraqi war, and it's killing our economy. It'll be the largest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind. We don't need any more talk. The Canadian oil, and you, you honestly would not believe how uh, protective or outspoken I am about Canadian oil. And it's not because, uh, it's because America, I'm not trying to protect Canada, it's that the United States needs the oil. We need the oil. I don't want that pipeline built from Fort McMurray over to the West Coast because that's going to go to Asia is where that's headed. And the United States needs it. We need the oil. And I, listen, I tell them in Washington continually, I said, the Fort McMurray oil is going to be produced. You don't like the CO2. It's still going to be produced. Now, it's crazy that we do not use it. Maybe we can mitigate it some other way, but that oil is going to be produced, and we need it in the United States. Well, well think with me a second. The cheaper the gas is, the better it is for transportation fuel. So what I'm trying to do with that first is the security of the United States to get off the OPEC oil because we're funding both sides of the war. Mm -hmm. And so what we what I want to do is to get over to natural gas. It'll take care of itself. As demand goes up, natural gas price will will come pretty quick. So I think you're gonna in two thousand ten you'll see six dollar gas. Do you still think uh, oil's going up to two hundred bucks? Sure, no question about that. And peak oil you're still a peak oil. But you didn't ask me when. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I have said continually that if, we, if the United States does not get an energy plan, which we've never had one for 40 years, no plan, then uh, and we just import more and more foreign oil. So now we're up to almost 70% foreign oil, and over half that comes from what I consider unfriendly nations. And I think that's stupid for us to do it. I think it's insane, and at some point, it's going to have a very, very bad conclusion. But if we don't do any more on energy plan than we've done for 40 years, in 10 years, we'll be importing 75%, and we'll be paying $300 a barrel for it. Now, somebody says, how do you know it's $300 a barrel? I've done pretty good on predicting oil prices. <laughs> yeah. And so if you look at the last five years, that OPEC's revenues were $250 billion five years ago. In 2008, the revenues were $1 trillion, $250, million, $250 billion. So it, it went five times in five years. There's no doubt in my mind in 10 years you'll have $300 oil. But we solved two problems in the United States with that, health care and education because we aren't going to have any money to take care of either one of them if we're paying $300 for oil and, you, and importing 75% of our oil.